Today we're here to talk about urging, a place for to remember lots of construction in the past recent years and talk about the projects that have had an impact on this. Um, today we're going to talk about the projects that have been done so far and the ones that have been just completed. Um, there'll be a second part for the next, uh, for the future batch of projects uh, about this. Uh, so first off, uh, let's start uh, by saying the major highways that go through this area which are State Highway 114, uh, State Highway 182, and uh, Route 12. All oh, those ones we're going to talk about today. There's also I-20 and uh, 360, but no, we're not talking about those in this video. Uh, but first of all, it's been a place that's been under lots of construction because uh, when it was first built, uh, its configuration wasn't uh, that big and it's ca and it caused lots of traffic as you know because Irving connects to the DFW airport and uh, through, through the roadway feature that goes through the area and, um, uh, and getting there becomes somewhat of a chore uh, whenever there's not enough capacity on the freeways in the area. Uh, so they started construction in the area. And at first, the um, project didn't really that major. They, uh, they improved some of uh, Texas 114 to kind of make space for expression to a future project. Um, uh, they also improved um, uh, other things here and there, but there was never really any substantial impact until the Midtown Express project in 2018. So for the Midtown Express project, um, I was working on uh, it turned State Highway 183 from a non-express lane on uh, a freeway to an ex to one that was including the Texas lane system. Um, it has one express lane in each direction, uh, co along with three lanes in each direction now due to the construction, which started in 2013 and finished in 2018. They also added a uh, one express lane in each section of Texas 114, but they kept everything else the same. They also um, uh, added a bit to loop 12 here and there, and uh, and we're trying to work on that too to make it coordinate with the LBJ Express project because they're trying to connect that portion. Also, so you can connect, so you can have a, a link from the I-35 East Express lanes to to the uh, Loop 12 to the 114 Express lanes and the State Highway 182 Express lanes. This project was an interim project, and it really wasn't meant to be permanent. Um, because most construction nowadays is done in phases. You kind of see this all over and we'll kind of talk about it more. Um, the I-35E project that goes on the Alder that goes from north of 635 was a phase project. The first phase finished construction, I'm pretty sure, around the same time in 2018. The second phase started construction in 2022 and is still currently under construction. Um, nowadays, construction is done in phases, and that's kind of the truth. That's kind of the painful truth because, uh, you know, one part just got finished, but they have to start on the next part in uh, a few years, leaving most drivers confused as to why. But I guess this is to split funding and to make sure that they don't go into heavy debt because they all tried because they tried to complete the whole thing at once. But now that we've kind of talked and touched up on the history of these freeways, because they're very important to the area and they all connect to different various places. 183 goes through kind of like the, uh, the heart of Irving and connects with 121, which is also currently under construction. Uh, that portion. And uh, 114 also connects with 121, 
but at the DFW airport area. And uh, loop 12, loop 12 just goes on. Loop 12 connects to spur 4, 403, which can in turn connect to I-20. When I talked about that, um, it's time to talk about the main thing. The urban interchange, that's what we're here for. The diamond interchange. This interchange has been a bottleneck for a while. Well, the midtown and first project somewhat fixed it up a bit and added a few expressions. Remember, it was an interim project. It was never meant to be uh, permanent. Which is why in 2020, just two years after construction finished, or like late 2020, construction once again picked up in this area to expand the interchange and to actually make it a uh, whole lot better than it actually had uh, been. Which also involved improvements to Loop 12, uh, Texas 114, and uh, State Highway 183, and also Spur 482, which also goes through this to form the diamond of this interchange. Because you know, look at the map; it's uh, it's a very complex shape. But this project added good scenic sunsets to the area. They also added on the uh, also gave Spur 482 a bridge over 114. And also reconstructed parts of Route 12 from like Union Bower all the way to uh, I can't say that one road. I think I'll have it up here. Um, but yeah, the improvements are massive, and the main part about this is that the construction project, the construction process, process was very speedy. It was actually very quick, and it didn't take as much time as intended. Because you know, everyone knows certain projects take too long, and certain projects don't take too long. This was one of the projects that were actually done super quick, and uh, was pretty much already open in May 2024 which is very quick considering the state of projects we are currently in and how long they usually take nowadays because construction is very drawn out and since construction is very drawn out that causes lots of problems in the area because drivers are expecting things to get done but they don't ever actually get done soon enough to meet their expectations This project was very fast. Uh, Weber did a very good effort. They improved the interchange massively. And they finally finalized the uh, Texas 114 around the Texas Plaza area. And while this project is meant to improve the area massively, and to improve the interchange that's been a bottleneck for drivers for years, and make it way better and way more accessible, by making bridges, by making a uh, New bridges for 114, uh, improve expanding the bridge uh, 183, and actually make and actually bringing improvements to Loop 12 instead of making it just be on standby because everything else in the Midtown Express project they just add express lanes to it and they didn't really do much else. But here, that did actually happen, and uh, they also improved some intersections for it. going to bring it uh, closer to its uh, alternate configuration, but it's not close and it's not anywhere near its alternate configuration yet, because I'll have to another video. Uh, but I just want to run to a close, um, I say um, it was a very good project. Um, it was very needed because this place is heavily congested if you've ever driven through it. And uh, I'm pretty sure it's a guy's done, but uh, I'm just here to say construction isn't over yet. There's a lot, there's at least three more projects to work on in this area. And uh, each wheeler will be upgraded to their final configuration soon.
I know this is a pretty short video, it's not that long and um I'll try guide my research and uh um, make part two happen as quickly as possible and then the next two videos are gonna be about forming um uh, we're gonna talk a bit about I thirty and I guess my frustration with that and uh I'll see y'all soon. Um, this is part two of what I, of last video, and uh, today we're going to be talking about the um, upcoming construction project at Norgen. Uh First, I'd like to do an overview of what happened of what we went over last video. So first, the urban exchange project was quick, efficient, and only took and it took less than four years to complete, which is usually very fast for projects that sometimes take double the time, even though they have less space to work with even though they have like uh, less mileage to work with also um, this project included the freeways of State Highway 183 uh, Texas Loop 12 and Texas 114 and uh, Spur 482 which is why it creates a diamond Um, also, um, the Midtown Express project was just an interim project. It was not really meant to actually completely fix the problems of all the freeways that went about, because as you can clearly see, nearly everything that they did is going to be rebuilt, readjusted, and redone once again, because it was meant to be an interim project, as was said, and when it addressed the 183 ultimate project which will complete which will complete the extension on 183 which was the main highway involved in the Midtown Express project so first things first um, let's get started with uh, Texas 114 um, Texas 114 as you know runs from uh, as a freeway from like uh, Roanoke all the way to Dallas and ends at the urban interchange um, it's been under lots of construction as because uh, first the DFW connected project, which uh, kind of addressed its interchange with the DFW airport, um, uh, Texas 121 and also 635, was constructed and rebuilt many years back, and all construction there finished in 2021. Um, the reason why I'm saying this is because um, where that project ended is exactly where the new uh, 114 project is going to pick up because this project is from International Parkway which is kind of like the connected to the FW airport uh, to to I'm pretty sure uh, uh, Texas 348 or Rasha Boulevard, because you know, kind of like where the Urban Interchange project ended. The main objective of this is to finally reconstruct the portion after Al Rasha Boulevard, because the portion before that was kind of kind of redone around 2015. I was about to say that, and, uh, but it wasn't. But the portions west of that weren't really done other than the TFW connector project but uh, uh, places because all they did there was add in especially during the Midtown Express project and apparently Texas are spinning back for more because um, they knew that traffic here is absolutely big because it gets you to the DFW airport and there's obviously going to be lots of need uh, for lanes to be carried there. So they're going to improve the actual lanes and add um, somewhat continuous fire drills, but though they're not always going to be continuous and uh, a shared bicycle path, like you know, shared trail progressions and a bicyclist can uh, drive, can walk, walk at the same time. Um, so I'll go over the improvements right now um, from Northwest Highway to Rasha Boulevard, it'll be, uh, I think like a two to three 
for the fungibles from three or three general lanes and still two express lanes in each direction. From uh, from three forty eight to um, to International Parkway, it will be four lanes in each direction. To to total um, managed lanes and two three fringe road lanes on the outside. Um, this project is obviously very important because uh, it involves the reconstruction. No, and adding of a new interchange because it seems that Texas are finally getting their marbles together when it comes to actually trying to fix these horrible interchanges, which you kind of planned horribly back in the day, which was the state, which was the state highway uh, 161 interchange and uh, state highway 114 interchange, the President George Bush Turnpike interchange, with Texas 114, was never really a stack interchange. It was just you having to use the four roads to enter to the other freeway. Um, but now they're changing that. They're actually going to add a, a stack interchange in, and that is something that the area massively needs because because um, currently there's nothing there other than just them uh, crossing over each other and the front roads doing all the work. It would be nice to see a second change there, which is also one of the improvements they made there. But as you know, for most projects, uh, U-turn lanes are going to be added to nearly every intersection. Um, the general purpose lanes are going to be boosted, and hopefully this fixes up traffic a bit in the area because this is also a very important place as it leads up to uh, DFW Airport. Next up, we'll be talking about um, we'll talk about Loop Twelve because wait, wait, wait! I forgot some math line. Um, that project's supposed to start in uh, June twenty twenty six if everything goes to plan, and, uh, and it's supposed to like uh, I guess end in like around around like twenty thirty. Um, the next project we'll talk about is. The Loop 12 project. Loop 12 project is definitely very needed. That place has lots of traffic. Um, it's very congested. And it definitely does need the improvements that are going to be assigned to it. Um, I'm pretty sure this project is the one lighting the most to the latest out of all of them. Because it's supposed to happen in 2027. And this project will take Loop 12 from about uh, from three lanes in each direction uh, south of 183, so basically a uh, Union Bower, the place where um, uh, the urban change project kind of ends for loop 12 and it kind of transitions back to its original pavement. From there, it will be expanded to Uh, it will still probably have three lanes each direction, but they'll also add express lanes. And if I'm not mistaken, an extra lane, I'll probably fix this in editing if I get it wrong. Um, but from, uh, but from like the I-30 change, it's definitely supposed to have four lanes in each direction, one express lane in each direction, and continuous front roads up until a spur 408 where the loop toe freeway ends and it converts back into a road not a road like a, a surface street um, this project also includes the end of the fast forward turnpike because the last interchange one of the last interchanges and in fast forward turnpike is going to get completely cut off the I-30 interchange with Loop 12 is going to be completely shredded and rebuilt and actually turned into a proper interchange. It's going to be actual stacks and not just be the turnpike is slow interchange we have right now. Uh, this is very good because it was definitely needed. I've seen that place off the back of 
um, but I'm glad they're finally getting business done there because uh, business needs to be done there and Luke Trump has been on the I guess uh, Luke Trump has actually made these improvements for years and it's quite obvious and I'm glad something's being done in these areas um, we'll save the best for you for at least um, now we're going to talk about 183 so 183's project isn't that severe as you think um, its project is from uh, it's interchange with uh, President George's Turnpike to 121. So here is where. So here they're actually gonna expand them a lot. They're gonna buff the tech express lanes from one lane in each direction to two lanes in each direction. And then add like an additional lane to um, uh, 183. And they're gonna improve lots of interchanges, including this interchange with uh, the DFW uh, airport, which is an uh, international parkway, and also uh, 360 and 161. Um, they're also gonna completely reconstruct certain bridges that were kind of left there because. Remember, uh, the Midtown Express project was an interim project. Most of it is probably going to stay. Uh, most of it, like uh, west of, uh, east of that, is going to stay. But still, things need to be redone. They need to be rebuilt, and they need to be reestablished. Expansion is always going to happen in these areas, and it seems like there's always going to be an infrastructure project in Irving. Um, I'm here to, I, I cover, um, I'm glad I was able to cover these ones, and uh, the Texas 23 project will happen in 2026, in early 2026, and will go on until probably late 2030. Um, next video, we're going to talk about Forney, and Forney is going to start going to my video after that, because it's just going to be me talking about USAD, I-30, and um, uh, I'm going to start and start working more towards those areas because those areas have lots of projects coming up and uh, those definitely need to be covered sometimes so, so yeah nice video nice being here again and uh i know it's not that long but hopefully i was able to at least get a little bit insight on what's happening in Irving because the construction here really never seems to end and there's always been a project here for the past 20 years